everybody. I'm John and today we're going to be talking about vocals, barks and things like that. Um, we're going to, I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing there uh, with the dig. Um, when it comes to vocals it's an interesting sound to add to you know, the dimension of your playing and you can use it both musically and just ambiently you know sort of just as an ambient background sound or you can punctuate sort of sounds in your rhythms if you want to but uh, uh, basically you just want to cover what I'm doing here today and then you can go away and practice it if you'd like to um, so there's a couple of things I'm doing there one is the the sort of more sharp sort of snappy sounding that kind of thing and the other one was just a bark on top that kind of thing. So, um, so I'm going to do the bark first. Um, really, all it is is you you get a drone going, and once you get the drone going, you then literally just bark. You know, add a bark to it. So, um, so you get the drone going. I'll get my stick again, and I'll show you. Um, here we go. Right. A couple of different things there. Now, I'm sort of doing a couple of different barks there. One is just sort of like a sound or a rough rough you could you could try different tones and pitches of you know barks just experiment really you can do that without a didgeridoo and the and also I'm doing a higher pitch one which is more like and to get that higher sound I'm using the back of my tongue so all the other barks you, as I say you can just practice it bloke get your didge going get a drone and then just practice getting that sound down you know getting that sound while you're playing at the same time. Uh, the drone might stop, but don't worry about that. It, it will, you know, you just have to keep practicing until it doesn't do that. It, well, it will happen for some and not for others, but generally if you've only just started doing this, it may, you might lose the, 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 the drone. Don't worry about it. You just have to keep practicing until you can keep it. So that's the rough, rough sound. And the other sound is the go, 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 that sound. I'm I'm using the back of my tongue. If you do, if you go ka 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 like that ka, you'll get you'll get that more sharp, higher pitch. Ka ka. I'm I'm doing a real sort of falsetto voice right at the top there. Ka. I'm using the back of my tongue ka at the same time. So it's ka. Basically, that's all that is. That's that one. Um, I say really, you just got to experiment and practice with that, and try as many different styles of barks as you want to. Now the other one is the Now I'm using a, a technique just which is using the tongue to flip backwards and forwards between that which is using the front of my tongue to, to say like a ta ta which goes up just behind the ridge just in sort of on the ridge of the gum ta ta just in front of the ridge of the gum to, to get like a T sound and then the ka ta ka ta ka ta ka so it's tucker, 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 tucker. And obviously, to get it sounding interesting, you, you can speed it up and go tucker, 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 that kind of thing. So you just practice to build up a bit of speed, really. Um, I'll do that back on the dig again. Here we go. That kind of thing. <laughs> Let's put that over there. Don't need that really now. Um, that's all it is. So this really short video, just giving you a couple of sort of techniques for vocals, which is the the barking sound, the punctuated barking sound with a cur and the sort of falsetto high pitch voice, if you want, and also the literally just going down the ditch. Now again, you might lose. 
depends how long you've been playing. Well, he might lose the, the sound anyway, but really don't worry about that. I mean, it's the end of the day, it's just a matter of practicing it and you know, you can incorporate it into, it's harder to incorporate into the rhythm, but you, if you go off the beat, you can do that. Um, but you can do it as an ambient sound anyway. There's, there's ways to be able to fit that in. So, but anyway, practicing, you might like the sound of it and uh, incorporating some of your dig playing, particularly if you ever play live, uh, the audience really likes that kind of stuff. You know, it goes down a treat, really. So yeah, so that one last thing, all I'm doing is tongue t. If you pronounce t and k, t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t and then when you speed it up, t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t have a practice. By the way, before I go, um, doesn't really matter. I think we, I think everyone's everyone's as an individual is different in how long it takes you to get these things. Um, some people pick it up quicker, others take longer. It's never an indication of how good or how bad you. You know, don't ever put yourself into that category of good or bad or I can't do this kind of thing. It always comes down to persisting and practicing and you know some might find it a bit easier to do than others but it's, that's not necessarily an indication of how good you're going to become at it it's, it's how much you persist and how much in time you need a bit of patience with it even if things get frustrating if you can't you know you just have to put it down and uh, have a practice every now and then you know find your own time the amount of time you want to practice it don't overdo it you know, if you if you practice things for too long, let's just say you was doing that for a good half an hour, you might find it a bit lot too long. You know, you might want to find practice for ten minutes or something on something, and then move on, and then come back to it, and then come back to it another day. Or you can practice it in the car, as I said before. You can you can practice this off the dig anywhere you like. If you wanted to, you could practice it at a supermarket checkout. You know, you might get a few interesting looks, but <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, anyway. Uh, have fun with that and uh, good luck with it.